Hey everybody. Ab exercise number two you can do, and I'm justice here. Ab exercise number two. Uh, these are called frog kicks, uh, leg raises. What is what you do, I'm just sitting on a bench, trying to get even on the bench, get your butt kind of sitting off it a little bit. I like to put my hands behind it, lean back, and crunch my stomach in. And at the same time, crunch my upper body in with my lower body at the same time. Crunch it in. Some people will do this. Some people will do this. Some people will go high. I mean, just get used to doing it. You know, I'm, I usually just stick I'm real basic. You know, I just focus on my stomach. But again, you can do it however you want. One thing to focus on when you're doing your stomach, um, your stomach's got sides, just like every muscle's got a different angle. So you're not just doing one exercise. To do a complete ab workout, you gotta kind of split it into parts too. You gotta look at it in sections. You have upper abs, lower abs, obliques, the sides of your abs, and lower obliques. Everything needs to be worked independently, but the same in a sense. Like it's gotta have a lot of condition um, worked into it, but all the muscles together. So again, when you're doing, this is just with any ab exercise, really, or any exercise. I say it all the time, you know, focus on what you're doing. Well, I say it all the time because it's true. So you're gonna hear it a lot because it just kind of gets you back in the mindset that I gotta kind of stay in the zone. So same as when you're doing whatever exercise you're doing. You're kicking up and squeezing. Now, when I'm saying the different sides, just by you switching just two inches on your side, let's, let's say, laying back, sitting up, it doesn't really matter, but you're twisting a little bit. When you start raising, you're incorporating now the sides of your muscle, your abs, your obliques. It's not just, the pressure's not just right here on the top. Top, you're actually doing the, the sides. You don't feel it at all on the front. I meant the front, not the top, because this exercise you're doing, I feel it everywhere, top and bottom. But again, when you just twist a little bit, just a little bit, and lean back and crunch, now you're doing, you're imp uh, implementing the side a little bit. So when you're raising the bottom up, you're thinking lower. I'm doing the lower body, so that's the lower half of your body is working as your abs. So you're getting a lot of focus there. Now when you're laying back on your back and you're raising yourself up, now you're doing the top obliques because you're using the upper part of your body. Same goes for your top of your abs. When you're doing just regular crunches, you focus it more on the top. Whenever you're hanging your legs and raising them up, you're focusing on the bottom. Same, same thing, split with your obliques as well. You work them just like that. Bottoms, buttons, you have to turn. You have to hit them independently where you can focus on them. So this is ab exercise number two with a whole bunch of little twists put in there. So uh, use that information for whenever you're doing any ab, ab exercise. All the other ab exercises I'm gonna go through, um, you can implement that twist in almost all of them. Just to uh, do a full, full core workout. So, until next time.